And only on Fox tonight, Child Protective Services fires an employee caught on camera telling a 14 year old girl in foster care to be a prostitute. But that state agency said nothing about the video's existence during a recent court hearing. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joins us live from downtown with that exclusive. Randy? Yes, Sherman, you would think the judge overseeing the 14 year old girl's custody case would need to know about the cell phone video, but apparently CPS didn't think so. Don't be a home, be a real home. She's a mother of nine, um, and she does have a daughter who has had some behavioral problems. That's why Keisha Basley turned to Child Protective Services. But then her 14 year old daughter told her when she told a CPS employee she was hungry, that worker told her to become a prostitute. The daughter recorded the CPS worker on her cell phone. I was out there and been Because the worker had been, in fact, telling her this is how you can make money. You need to do this. I used to do this, and you could do the same thing. You're basically telling a child that lives in a hotel you can make $1,500 a day if you're a prostitute. Right, and, and also, it might be something you want to do if you want to eat. When I saw the video with that lady, it's like, like my soul left my body. I think that they're threatened by the fact that this video even exists. They know about it. They've apologized. The head of CPS has apologized about this. What they didn't do was tell the court that's dealing with this case that that's what's going on. Yesterday, they asked the court to dismiss this case. Attorney Mike Schneider says Thursday, CPS was hoping to dismiss the case and get the 14-year-old girl out of the state's care. That didn't happen. The girl is now living in a foster home instead of a hotel. You don't have a parent. They don't have therapy. You don't want them. The fact that they don't think it's relevant that their own agency is trying to prostitute a child, that's incredibly disingenuous to have a hearing and not bring that to the court's attention. Now, CPS sent us a prepared statement. DFPS is aware of the video and has taken action. The person in the video who was employed as CPS support staff was dismissed from her position August 10th. The safety and appropriateness with which children in care must be treated is our paramount concern. Nothing less will be tolerated. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.